Here at the Inter-American campus is where the Algebra Project, a pilot program, is taking off. Dr. Robert Moses, a former civil rights activist, felt that every American had a constitutional right to a quality public school education. Because of this, he started the Algebra Project. When you think of some of the popular subject courses taken by students, required math barely makes the list. For some, math is comparable to a phobia that unless you deal with it, it just won't go away. But there are a couple of professors at Miami-Dade College's Inner American campus who are attempting to alter that perception and they're working diligently toward changing math's sour reputation. They are doing this by introducing a new way to learn it. It's called the Algebra Project and it was created by civil rights leader and educational advocate, Dr. Robert Moses. Dr. Robert Moses has teamed up with the Inter-American Mathematics Chairman, Dr. Jermaine Brown, to create an algebra curriculum specifically tailored for the Miami-Dade College student. The project basically looks at taking an experience, one experience that everyone has that you can build from to teach them a mathematical concept. So that's one, that's one of the biggest things that drew me to the Algebra Project through the college as well, because we're looking, okay, if we can give the students all one common experience and build from that one common experience into mathematical concepts, then we can take them further into the math basis itself. So there has to be a way of teaching and learning that the students feel this is something that I can do. And so that's part of what the Algebra Project has done. One of the first lessons instructed students to grab their pencils and journals and depart their normal classroom settings to go on a mini field trip. The adventure led them on a journey where they learned all about the trip line concept. So our second day of class, the way we learned timelines was taking a trip down H Street. We had each student had to pick a scene, either a tree, a car, a boutique, and then each student came back took a picture, wrote the name, and then we put it in a timeline. And that's how we learned how to move from place to place. The setup of the class is a bit different than that of a traditional class. Students are broken up into groups where they are able to help one another in the learning process. We are told this is done in order to allow the students to express what they have learned or haven't learned and to encourage one another where needed. It's been uh, in a positive way, a lot of hands-on that we didn't have back in high school or maybe other people in uh, college courses. It's, be, it's, been very, uh, it's been very explanatory about everything, step by step, everything. If one student does not get it, they go back for everybody, and that's actually good, because if you don't know what you're doing, then it helps you get better at it. And if you don't know, well, it helps you understand it. The math actually sticks. I actually remember I'm able to do my homework, and I'll probably wait like a week and I still remember it. The group dynamics of it is very good. It's not so much like if you're in high school that your teachers are like, no talking. I mean, I actually get it. It's really good. And the idea is not just because in the visual, in the experiences are embedded very deep concepts, right? And the idea of how you take common ordinary words like or and right, how they relate to mathematical operations. X plus Y plus Z squared becomes X squared plus Dr. Y. Moses tells us that he came up with the algebra concept as an attempt to help his own children excel in math. The project then evolved into helping multitudes of children. Dr. Moses hopes that this unique style of teaching will continue equipping students to adapt and become active participants in a changing world. Use your mind, right, and keep learning as this economics and the associated knowledge right, keeps changing right, rapidly. No one knows 10 years from now what it is that will be needed.